everybody, it's Julie here. Thanks for joining me for another Bible journaling process video. We are in Luke 10 where Mary and Martha are sitting with Jesus. And this is a Bible study and printables from My Embraced Grace. And you can actually pick these up at that website. It's a free Bible study and free printables. I would highly recommend you do that. So I have already cut out the printables. And we are going to just use some watercolor and these printables. It's a very easy page. Easy peasy peasy. So I'm just going to spritz my uh, watercolors. These are the Illustrated Faith. I'm going to use the black and the white and also some lavender, some purple from um, my Reeves watercolor set. So I am just going to get this lavender on the page, on my um, palette. And this lavender matches some of the elements from this kit. And some of these um, elements, I'm just going to give them a little bit of color. These I printed out on cardstock and then did a fussy cut. That just means I kind of cut and left some white around them. Wasn't too particular. But I want to give it some edging and some color just so it it uh, stands out a little bit on the page and we're using this um, lavender color scheme. Some of these elements say details, welcome Jesus, fear not, gonna um, paint this house. This Bible study was really powerful. It talks about when uh, Mary and Martha are with Jesus and Mary is just sitting at the feet of Jesus and Martha is just bustling about and busying about and she starts complaining and says, Jesus, ask Mary to help me. And Jesus says, Martha, you need to uh, just take it easy. You need to give it a chill pill. Right now, I am just doing a little bit of splatter painting with the black. And then I'm also going to do it with the white. And I want this to be kind of a background. Uh, the watercolor brush from the Illustrated Faith set is just a real thirsty brush. And it does a great job with this splattering. You just make sure that you get the paint wet, and you saw me spritzing that earlier, and then you can just pick it up and just tap it on the edge. And I'm just going to hit that with the heat gun. And that gives um, the page a little bit of a, an interesting look, and it also makes it so it's not so stark looking, and it moves your face around the your eye around the page. And I had a little bug there. This little bug has been um, visiting me today. So I am I'm just putting a little more of the paint on the page. This is where I'm going to put these little elements at the bottom. And we're going to make a fun tip in with a doily today. And that's going to give us some journaling space and also be a nice focal element, a focal point. So I'm just um, adhering these elements onto the page. And this is a broom and a sponge and... Um, a water squirt bottle and these are various cleaning products cleaning uh, utensils and I'm putting the element that says details above it because we can get so wrapped up in the details of life the details of um, pleasing others and in this case Martha was so worried about just taking care of all the details and it's really in this Bible study he talks about the basis of that of trying to please people is fear. Fear that we aren't enough. Fear that we're not going to live up to the expectations of others. But it's not really about that because we have lived up to Jesus' expectations because he died for us at the cross. He met those expectations for us and we are enough in him. So I've taken this doily and I'm just cutting some washi tape and making a tip in. What that means is I've just made a little hinge with the washi tape. I folded it around the edge of the page on the other side and then put a little bit on this underside and that helps to give us a hinge. And then I use some purple checked washi tape to adhere that tab up at the top that says no fear. I don't have to fear that I am enough for Jesus. I don't have to fear that I need to live up to um, his expectations of meeting all these details. 
He has done it for me. He has provided for me. It's about um, just living the life, but also it's about the theology. It's about salvation. He has provided salvation for me. So it's about living day to to day, but also about um, just surrendering to Him. So surrendering my time, but surrendering my entire life to Him. And Jesus says, Martha, Mary has chosen the better portion, the, the better choice. And that choice is by just resting in Jesus. And that's what I want to do. I just want to rest in Jesus. I don't want to have to uh, worry about living up to all these expectations that really I place upon myself. It's not that anybody else places them upon me. Or if if they do, they are unrealistic. And I don't have to uh, put those expectations upon myself. So I've made this tip in, and it's a place where I can write some journaling. So I'm putting this prayer here that says, Help me simply rest in you like Mary did. Too often, I try to prove myself and I get all worked up in the details of life, but I don't want to do that. And so I want to just um, not fear that I'm enough and I want to know that I am saved in you because Jesus, you love me. And I'm trying to read this on the screen here. And um, so it's something to that effect. And that's the good thing about this tip in is you can cover up any private journaling you may have, but it's it's just a cute little element. It's again a focal point. Doilies, you can get them in a pack for just a couple of bucks and they really are charming. You can use them for hospitality. And the reason why I chose this doily is because it reminds me that of um, how my mother used to always just make these little cute details. She would put these doilies on the silver trays, on the serving platters, and then put little um, petty fours and things like that. And um, yes, it's a precious element. It's a precious detail of hospitality, but I don't want the details to overrun the hospitality or to get in the way of just serving God and uh, being with God. So this washi tape wasn't doing a really good job of, of holding the doily, so I'm using some Tombow mono adhesive, and I um, put that down, and I will be sure to link that. And there we have it. It's really cute, isn't it, the way it just flips back and forth. Now, I do decide that I want a little bit of edge on this doily, so I come back and I just sponge it. First with the green, with just a green ink pad to bring in that green element from the tab that says no fear. And then I also go back over it with the purple stamp pad. And these are from some old Stampin' Up! pads. I had all the colors from before and uh, now some of the colors have changed, um, but I'm still using the ones that I have. So I've added some green and some purple, and it adds an edge to it, just a finishing touch. Thank you for joining me so much. If you have any questions, uh, please be sure to leave them in the comments section. Like the video, share it with a friend. Be sure to subscribe, and uh, come back and join me next time. God bless.